For one San Diego couple, what started as a calling from a higher power, as they called it, has now led to the success of a nonprofit. 2911 helps pregnant women who would otherwise be homeless. CBSH Jenny Day has another good one for us in our new series, Working for Our Community. 9 a little nonprofit in El Cajon that's doing big things. Got the opportunity to go back to school and um, get my medical assistant program going. Mar Macedonio studying, all while becoming a new mom to two-month-old Ronan. I hope he becomes an astronaut or something. <laughs> She's lived at 2911 since January and says it's been a saving grace. I did four years in prison and um, for transporting over the border. Just days before her release, the plan was to sleep on the street. I don't know how to describe the blessing that it is to be here and actually have the space to feel safe, the time to do the things you need to do to move forward in your life. Pregnant moms are often turned away from traditional homeless shelters. 2911, however, has helped house 62 moms in six years. After our third child was born, God just started stirring something in our hearts. After doing mission work in Haiti and Mexico, it was time to serve here at home, specifically pregnant women who are experiencing homelessness. They created a warm and welcoming space. This little guy gave me a hug the minute I walked in the door and spent the rest of his time showing off his moves. The growing nonprofit now has a maternity home and an extended care program to help get mom back on her feet after the baby arrives. A third location in Lemon Grove was sadly just destroyed by fire, but 2911 says they will rebuild. 2911 comes from a verse in the Bible, Jeremiah 2911, which says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. In addition to providing a safe space, these moms are taught life skills. So you want to look and see who can see your consumer report. Our residents don't pay rent, but they do pay a program fee if they have an income. What we find is that things that are free are devalued. So um, the residents pay 30% of any income that they have, which is their program fee, but half of that goes into a savings that we hold for them that's given back to them when they leave our program. So they're, they're learning the value of savings and they're building a nest egg while they're here with us. The nonprofit operates off donations. A summer jogathon is happening at Journey Community Church in La Mesa on July 29th. Working for our community in El Cajon, Jenny Day, CBS 8. It's beautiful. They're supplying a lifeline at a critical, mm -hmm. critical time, but then they're also giving them a ladder to get out of those situations. Just a, a real nice program. Though. Yeah, always nice to see organizations giving back to the community, helping people who need it the most. Yeah, absolutely. Very cool there.